When I started to think about cryptocurrency, I wanted to create a cryptocurrency for the mass market, for everyone. We are very, very proud of our work. I would like OneCoin to be a very stable currency, the first choice for merchants and um, the first choice for people on the street who want to use cryptocurrency. It is uh, still very, very exciting and um, until we make it to the top, I think I will not stop doing this. And we need one more year to create something amazing that nobody has done before. I feel that I do the right things and things that excite me. As long as I like going to work every morning, I'll continue working. services in a very, very high class. Well, I hope that OneCoin will become the cryptocurrency of the people, that OneCoin will be the synonym of uh, cryptocurrency, not Bitcoin. So whenever people speak about cryptocurrency, that OneCoin will be one of the big examples they will use. Believe in yourself and then miracles can happen. I still cannot believe where we are and how amazing everything is. And now we have to give back. So when you're successful, give back to somebody. Find somebody else, teach her, help them also change their life. Hello everybody. My name is Per Carlson. I come from Sweden. I'm a crown diamond in one car. I'm here today at the new office in Sofia uh, to talk with uh, Dr. Dusha and I also have a good friend uh, Udo with me here today. We are going to sit here and ask Dusha some very serious questions that you guys want to know about OneCoin, also about the future, what will happen. So uh, I think we should start directly uh, with some questions. What is OneCoin? A very, very good question, Pear. Um, OneCoin is a real cryptocurrency, which is more than just a digital currency. The special thing about cryptocurrency is that um, there's an algorithm behind and that uh, cryptocurrency always have a final uh, number of coins. So there are a lot of people who want to do digital currency or just to use a blockchain, but a real cryptocurrency has a clear algorithm behind and um, a finite number of coins. So it is electronic money, but um, it is not controlled by government. It is controlled by one coin members and it's very, very transparent in the blockchain. What is the blockchain? Well, in the blockchain uh, pair, it is something that makes cryptocurrency very, very transparent and a bit more tangible. So what you can see in the blockchain is all the transactions that are done by OneCoin members. So if somebody trades a coin, if somebody transfers a coin to another one, you see this transaction in the blockchain. And all transactions are in this blockchain. So it's like a ledger where we record all mm. transactions. So, so it means we can trace every transaction from exactly. me to you exactly. to him. Yeah. And the second thing that you can check in the blockchain is uh, every coin mined is recorded in the blockchain. So, and this is also what our auditor audits every month, that all transactions that are done are really collected in the blockchain and that all coins mined are really also recorded in the blockchain. Yes, actually that, that's one of the questions what I'm having, what I'm getting from a lot of people all the time is, why are you so transparent? Everyone knows where we are or where you are, what are we doing, you said about the auditing, and you find many other companies, currencies, whatever, where nobody really actually knows what is behind. And what was the reason for you to say, hey guys, I'm here, I'm Dr. Rusha, I have my office here. What was the reason why we decided to be so, so open and transparent to everyone? There are two things why, why we decided to do this. First of all, we wanted to, or we are already one of the biggest cryptocurrencies out there. And I believe to become a significant player, um, 
in the world that we live out there, you have to play by the rules. We are not regulated. Cryptocurrency is not a regulated industry. So all these things that we do currently, um, we impose on ourselves. Okay. So we ask our customers for know your customer mm -hmm. um, guidelines because we want just to be able to trace who is doing transactions in our network. And um, of course, why I am not hiding because we are not doing anything illegal. And the second reason is we're proud actually of what we do. We want to be one of the biggest yeah. cryptocurrencies and as a cryptocurrency, for me, most important is how you use the cryptocurrency. We want to do borderless payments. We want to be a payment system and not an investment vehicle. To me, Bitcoin is mostly an investment vehicle where people park money and wait until the value goes up and down. But for me, actually, my vision about cryptocurrencies is to be a very usable tool, something that will help people meet their financial or banking needs. There are 2 billion people who are unbanked currently in the, in the world. All these people have small banking needs. For example, they send money from A to B, they want to buy things. And I believe that cryptocurrency can meet these needs very, very well. So who do we compete with? And here I, I always try to explain it's not the big banks we compete with. If you want to have a bank account, you go in Sweden, you open a bank account. We compete more with uh, players like Western Union, where a small person goes and sends, let's say, from Singapore 200 euro to his wife to India. This currently you can do in Western Union. You pay very, very high fees. It takes a lot of time. There are a lot of restrictions. And I believe that with cryptocurrency, you can do this much faster, much cheaper and much better. And this was actually the big vision that we had. And now you ask me, why do we do the audit? Well, there are very, very many cryptocurrencies out yes. there, over 400, probably much more, that we don't know about. Most of them are not very liquid, not very big, but it doesn't matter. But a lot of them are decentralized. Now, what does this mean? That there are many, many miners out there who mine the coin, and uh, the blockchain is maintained by these miners. One coin currently is a centralized cryptocurrency. So there are big advantages, but also disadvantages in a centralized system. Uh, the biggest advantage is that, for example, when an account gets hacked, we can help you. So we can retrieve your password, you do not lose your coins. People say out there that uh, about 20% of all bitcoins mined are lost. Mm -hmm. Just imagine in the beginning one bitcoin was 10 cents, so you do not pay so much attention to your coins. Now this does not happen in one coin. People can retrieve their password, they can retrieve some transactions if their account was hacked, so we give some kind of protection. But the issue with centralization, of course, is that the company can control the blockchain. And for us, it was important that somebody independent has a look on the blockchain and says, okay, the company is dealing correct with this blockchain. And um, how to say, for every need, for every person, I believe there's the perfect coin out there. We are not perfect for everyone, but I believe that we're perfect for the mass market, for people mm -hmm. who want to do cryptocurrency and who want to understand cryptocurrency for all the people who use Facebook, who use Google, but do not understand how Google algorithm works. This is my users. I want to be able to use a phone, but not to know what's inside the phone. Exactly. That, that's good. Yeah. That's good.